Some cargo workers at Port Canaveral can concentrate on their jobs again now that a nearly nine foot gator has been removed from their job site. That's one big boy or yeah. girl. That gator was found hiding under a conveyor belt. And since her live report at four, Channel 9's Melanie Holt had a chance to review what port workers and trappers told her. And Mel, they had their work cut out for them. That gator was comfortable right where it was. Fortunately, it wasn't in a high traffic area, but workers for Ambassador Services aren't sure how that gator made it onto their job site. They just know it didn't want to leave. He was stuck in a spot. He was in a spot. This afternoon, trappers were called out to Port Canaveral to remove a nuisance gator from underneath a conveyor belt in a cargo area. Mike Noyes' co-workers were the first to spot that big gator. They were walking parallel with the conveyor, and uh, they were just down, just down towards the warehouse, and they were about a foot away, and they heard like a, like a hissing and a snarl sound, and uh, they, they looked down to see what it was, and they both were pretty much, you know, nose to nose with a... Uh, with probably about an eight foot gator, I'd assume. Eight feet, 10 inches to be exact. And the gator didn't make its capture an easy one. They ended up having to take a forklift and pick the platform up and get him, get him to come out. He had a lot of combat injuries. So he was, he was having a rough couple of nights. After the gator was euthanized, that same forklift was used to help remove the animal from the work site. I've been operating this forklift for 15 years. Have you ever? Had to lift the gator before. No, I haven't. This is the first time. The trapper told me this is his busiest time of year. Right now, those gators are moving into nesting season. Live here at Port Canaveral, Melanie Holtz, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.